All right, we're back with part 25 of the complete walkthrough for Parasite Eve, and we just finished day three boss, uh, Kaberos. And I is now talking with uh, Ben and the captain, who seems injured. And look who shows up. Whoa, Baker is not looking good. Seems like Baker used to be uh uh like a partner for uh, da uh Daniel Yeah, she will. We just have to find her. And that now officially ends day three. And now we go to day four, which is conception. Um, sorry for screwing up uh, day one, which was actually entitled Resonance. Uh, forgot to uh, edit that back. And now we see uh, Daniel is now the the chief of police for the uh, district Daniel is large and in charge and Nix is also in the hospital because he was damaged pretty good Well, let's talk to the cops. Maybe they know something. Alright. Let's see if Warner knows anything. Well, let's see Daniel. Yeah. Remember the lab that we uh, did the healing in on day three? Yeah. We're going to head there. Uh... But before we do that, um, we're now going to use that locker key. But unfortunately, I left it um, in uh, Wayne's hands. So we're going to have to go down there to uh, get it. So now Wayne's taking over. Oh good, no permit needed. But the trading cards we've been finding, he'll use those to do the mod permits. So basically the trading cards are used as mod permits now. Okay, so let's get rid of the equipment. Okay and reload the gun and reload since we don't need all this ammo actually I'm wrong I'm gonna use all the ammo Okay, now we don't need this, uh, don't need this medicine three, but we do need the locker key. All right, so let's go back and let's find out what that hidden item in that locker is. Um, I'll explain why I'm keeping all the bullets. Um, uh, later on when we get to a specific enemy and you'll see why 
so remember it's the front on the side there and we get that's it I wasted my fucking time battling enemies grabbing that key on the third floor and all I get is that piece of shit oh Christ well, let's go back to Wayne. And let's dump this. Well, like I said, if you need to upgrade your equipment, uh, uh, you can do that, but... Jesus, what a waste. All that for one trading card? Sheesh. Okay, let's just organize everything. Okay. Oh, see, we've got six cure, uh, six medicine threes. All right, so now I'm gonna have to do some readjusting here. You know, I should really cut this out, but uh, didn't want to uh, wreck the flow of the game. Okay. Ooh, almost hit discard there. <laughs> okay, so let's move the medicines here. Okay. All right, let's go uh, find Maida, which we think he's in that crime lab in the third floor. So uh, let's head up there. Now, uh, just to let you guys know, um. If you didn't go for all the treasures while in day three, um, you can grab them now. All the item boxes would still be there for you to grab. Uh, but I will tell you it's a little bit suicidal doing that. You could do that in the EX mode, but I, for the first run, I highly recommend you use the weapons that you got there. And, yeah, sure enough, Maida was there. Yeah, thought he'd be... Thought he'd be there. How'd you guess? This kind of place makes you think more clearly. Okay, Maida, you're getting more and more weirder. Or more and more nerdier. So why did he attack the precinct? And why Eve didn't show herself either? Could be a distraction. Distraction? From what? Sperm bank. She wants to get herself pregnant. St. Francis Hospital. Artificial insemination. Hmm. Alright. Well, that seems to be our next stop. <laughs> okay, what's Aunt Daniel giving us here? Hopefully not something useful. Oh yeah, that's useful. <laughs> Alright, we'll see you next time. This is Slurpy Tigger saying later.